Jacinda Ardern, Prime Minister of New Zealand, a new legend among the international leaders. The world started to notice her after the brutal attack in Christchurch. Dear friends, let us look at some important events happen in her life, born in Hamilton on 26 July 1980 for her father, Ross Ardern, a police officer in Morinsville, and for her mother, Laurel Ardern, a school catering assistant. At the time of Jacinda Ardern started to study at Morinsville College, she leads the college union in her first year itself. By realizing her outstanding leadership quality, the college management chose her to become the student representative on the school's board of trustees. At the 1999 general election, Jacinda Ardern becomes the campaign coordinator of her aunt Marie Ardern, who was a long-standing member of the Labour Party. This led to achieving her huge public support. Gradually people of New Zealand started to idealize her as both a social democrat leader and a progressive icon of New Zealand. In 2008, she was elected president of the International Union of Socialist Youth. On 1 March 2017, she was unanimously elected as deputy leader of the Labour Party. On 8 March 2017, people of Mount Albert electorate elected her as member of parliament for the first time. Again in 1 August 2017 the all the members of Labour Party unanimously chose her as the supreme leader of the Labour Party. On the same year, 26 October with huge public support she became the world's youngest female head of government at her age 37 and she is serving now as the 40th and current Prime Minister of New Zealand. Another notable fact about Jacinda Ardern, she became the world's second elected head of government to give birth while in office on 21 June 2018. What has happened in Christchurch? On 15 March 2019 in the peaceful Friday morning, it is an extraordinary act of unprecedented brutal terrorism, caused loss of innocent 49 lives. Entire world and entire humanity is shocked, terrorism wants to collapse entire New Zealand by creating communal disorder. But a lady, miraculous women, by her magnificent movement saved entire New Zealand and protected the entire people of New Zealand as it is one home. There onwards, the world witnessed a great leader, a charismatic figure. The lady, Jacinda Ardern. The heroine of New Zealand, Prime Minister of New Zealand, now become the heroine of the entire world. The whole world started to keep watching every single movement of this charismatic lady today. What did she do in New Zealand after the brutal attack in Christchurch? She immediately came to ground and became one among the victims as whole New Zealand is a single family. Condemned the brutal terrorism strongly arrested the terrorist and isolated him from society. She becomes the voice of victims. She used all platform to raise the voice for victims. Her love and affection become a big relief for the victims. She declared that the person who has committed this violent act has no place in the land of New Zealand. Finally, the world realisted, a leader like Jacinda Ardern is a dream leader in the entire world. Her direct involvement in solving public issues and grassroot activities raise her today's proud full highness. Rather than Jacinda Ardern is just a political leader, she also proved that is great humanist too. And we all are fortunate to be witnessed such a great leader's rule of time. Dear, all friends, this is Channel HSM and we will update you all the international importance and events in time. So, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Like this video and share this video. Because the good news has to be spread in this beautiful world. So, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.